Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Why? Because Easter's on its way. Yes, it is. Easter's on its way. And yes, as you can tell, I am bringing you another craft today. But I mean, look, it is so very cute, so easy to make. And so I thought, hey, let me bring it to my friends. So join me today as we make pinecone bunnies and carrots. Keep going. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life, and thank you for joining me again as, you know, I celebrate all things craft and Easter. You know, yes, okay, back to back, Easter crafts, I get it, but you know what? When I saw these, and they were just so cute, and then my girls are like, Mom, we have to make them, and then you should tell everyone at Learning Life, and so I obeyed. And so, yes, here I am bringing you another cute and fun craft. And don't forget that you can check out the other crafts that I have or the other videos here at Learning Life. And thank you for those that have been joining me on this journey and who've been watching and the likes, the subscribes and just sharing with your friends. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Two simple crafts today. They are simple. They are easy. They are fun and really just really, really cute. Let's start with the bunny, shall we? You know, these are just so simple. It doesn't take much at all. Now, could you turn it around and add a face? Absolutely. You could put googly eyes and maybe a little bead for a nose and some whiskers, but we just loved the simplicity of this bunny. And so let me show you how to make it. All you need is pine cones. And, and as you heard, probably in my last pine cone craft, you know, we have an abundance of trees. If you don't have any pine trees, make a friend with somebody that does because they will always have pine cones and they're probably happy for you to come around and pick them up. Okay, so you just need a pine cone and we're gonna flip it around so it tapers down. This is its little bottom. And then we just need some felt. This is left over from previous crafts that I've done. I don't like to sort of throw stuff away because you never know when you could need it. And so like, we're going to use felt, but you know, if you don't have felt, why not use cardstock or, you know, you have like a cereal box, cut something out from that. You don't have to go out and get these things. You can find things around the house to make it on your own. And so I generally like don't pre-cut things out, especially like with my girls. When pine cones are different sizes, then I think, oh, what do I want to do and how big do I want to make it? And so I just folded it in half and I'm going to cut around, taper down the bottom, wider and rounder up the top. Okay, so now because I folded it, I have two little rabbit ears and I'm just going to put some hot glue because I like hot glue. I like how quickly that it sets when it comes to crafts, but you can use craft glue, not a problem. And I'm going to insert it in and press it down. The great thing about pine cones is when they've opened, it gives you that perfect little slot. Do the same for the other ear. Dab of hot glue and then slide it in and press it down so that it sets. There's its ears. Now its tail. Yes, we need pom-poms for this. Now, again, we just had bright colored. I didn't go out to get like more natural colored ones. You probably could. If you don't have these, do you have any cotton balls or something? You know, we can always find things around the house that we could use. Hmm, I think he needs a blue tail. And so it, again, it's just a matter with these pom-poms or whatever you have for the tail. Dot of glue, press it on. Ta-da! See how cute, simple and easy. And as you can see, we've been making like a family of these with plans to make more, to paint them, to have like a rainbow <laughs> of rabbits. And of course you could add more, to oh look, we've got twins. Great, I have twins. We um, found some ribbon, so we just made like a bow and stick it on, you know, so you could do that. You could pretty it up. You know, if you have curling ribbon, you know, anything like this, you can use to just quickly make a bow, loop it and stick it on. Like that's the great thing with crafts like this is that you really can just make things your own. So why not add a bow to this rabbit? That would be great. There we go. We added a bow. So we've got our bunnies. That's how easy it was and a lot of fun. Well, 
Let's make some carrots because don't bunnies need to eat some carrots? Yes. Yes, they do. So when we went out looking for our pine cones, we tried to find sort of like longer, thinner ones to try and give more of a carrot shape, as you can see, along with these ones. Now we painted them already. So you just need your pine cones, some orange paint and like your brushes to do that. Now, next time though, I might splurge and buy a can of spray paint just because mm, I love spray paint and the way that it just gives that nice even cover. But the girls painted and had fun. So these have dried and now we just need to make our carrot top. Which is funny, why do we call people with red hair like carrot tops? Because carrot tops are green. But anyhow, we're gonna make our carrot top. For this, tissue paper. I mean, birthday parties, hold on to it because you can use it as a craft. This is just several layers all together. And I'm just going to cut some. Just cut it off. This is great to, for your children to practice cutting as well. So now that's too long, so I'm just gonna fold it in half. And then I'm gonna start here at the top and just cut down, not all the way. I do like to have that fold at the bottom just because it helps to hold everything together. As thin or as thick as you would like, we're just cutting down, leaving a little bit at the bottom. And then what we did was we sort of took it and twisted it and wrapped it around and folded it. And to keep it all together, we just used a piece of tape. That was all. Piece of tape to wrap around and you see now it's holding together. Now, carrots don't have like the same length at the top. So if you want to, if you don't have to, you can just sort of snip, snip, snip to sort of give it a little bit more of a ragged top. So it's just not looking. It makes a bit of a mess. So if you're not a mess person, don't do that. And then I just, because I didn't want all the tape at the bottom. See, so we've got this length of tape. I'm just cutting off, you know, a good three quarters of it. I've still got it now bound together. And now we're just gonna stick it. So handy dandy hot glue, nice big gloop. And stick it. Press it down a little bit so that we get it. And here we have now our carrot. Gonna stay. Stay carrot, stay. So look, carrot for our bunny, whoa. Why is he falling? Let's do more hot glue. This is almost as exciting as live TV, folks. And so we've got our carrot top here. Hey, our carrot, our cute bunny, two simple and easy crafts that you can make with pine cones that just don't take much, things from around the house that you can add and bring out some cute little decor here for Easter. So I hope you can have some fun with it. You know, create your bunnies, create your carrots, you know, and have fun with what you can do with it. So thank you so much for watching today. And I, I hope you have some fun with these. I know that we have, and we will continue to do so because we just love our crafts. So here we have our carrot and here we have our cute little bunnies. So enjoy and check out my website, learningthis.life. It has like this video as well, as well as other videos and all the instructions for the crafts as well, so that you can follow along and make them yourself. And thank you so much for being part of this community. And if you want to see more of these videos come out, you can join me in this journey and you can do that as a champion. And you can do that through patreon.com or again, through my website, learningthis.life. Now, isn't this cute?